morning, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw a greyhound. Thank you Allison Eldridge for the suggestion. Super great idea. Um, I was originally thinking these would have lots of rectangles, but um, they're actually ovals. So we're going to do lots of ovals today and we're going to draw a greyhound that looks about like this. You need a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, and an eraser or the back of your pencil eraser works great too. Put me on pause, gather up your supplies, and come right back. I am gonna move my guide. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see me better, and you're gonna use a pencil. So grab your pencil. We're gonna start on the right-hand side of our paper with a circle about this big. We're just drawing the face of this greyhound today. Um, I was really taken with their aerodynamic uh, faces. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a circle about this big on the right hand edge of our paper. So get your whole arm going from your shoulder and go around and around and around and around. Now at this point in our drawing, um, it's going to feel messy. You're going to have lots and lots of lines. Um, but if you squint your eyes and you take a look at it, it's going to end up looking like a circle. So we're using all of these lines as guides and don't stress about it too much because they will all get erased in the long run. So be forgiving with yourself and try to roll with it a little bit. Off the backhand side of this circle, we're going to draw another circle about this big. So again, get your whole arm going from your shoulder. Around and around you go. Maybe it's more of an oval. Maybe a little bit a flattish oval circle. I don't know. Shape about like that. Um, it's not quite a circle. Off the end of that, at a little bit of a diagonal, we're going to draw a little circle about like this. This one's about the size of a quarter. I'm getting my whole arm going when I'm drawing these shapes, and when you do that, you involve your larger muscles, and that makes it easier to arrive at the shapes. Let's do a few connecting triangles. We're going to draw a straight line over from here, from the big oval to the little circle, and then from the circle back to that oval shape. Inside that oval, let's draw another oval. This is going to be skinnier this time, about like that kind of overlaps those two. See how mine is messy? I've got some lines that are in, some lines that are out. Yours is going to look very much the same. From here, from the top part of that oval, we're going to draw a little arc that kind of goes over to the edge of that oval. When I'm doing this, I'm planting my wrist and I'm just moving my hand back and forth and it will go in the natural shape of an arc when you do that. All right, moving on to some more details. Let's get an eye for our greyhound. It's gonna live at the edge of that circle along the left-hand side. We're gonna have a circle that's just a little bit smaller than that one we drew for the ear. Now for this shape, because it is smaller, I'm planting my wrist, and just with my hand, round and round I go. It's more of an oval. I'm getting all my shapes confused today. More of an oval. From there, you are going to draw an arc over the top of that oval and the bottom of that oval. Start about three quarters of the way down. Put a little dot right there so you can see it. You're starting right there for your top arc. You're planting your wrist and following along the top part of that oval. And then from the bottom, same deal. When we draw over this, that's gonna be like our eyelid. At the top of the arc that you just drew at the very edge, Plant your wrist and draw another arc, kind of like that. Inside that oval, we need a pupil. So we are going to add another oval that's going to be about this big. And inside that, let's add a littler oval and kind of a crescent shape up at the top. Like the edge of a moon, I'm planting my wrist and I'm drawing an arc and then another arc bigger than that. Those are going to give us our highlights in our eyes. Off the front of this eye oval, we're gonna draw a connecting triangle. It's gonna go from that top of the arc out and then back to the bottom arc. 
And then off of the very front of that, I'm just gonna give a little line pointing toward what's gonna be our nose. Now for our nose. Our nose is gonna be, it's really long, so it's gonna fill up the whole rest of our paper here with one big oval about like this. It's gonna live just off of that eye triangle. It's where the back of that oval is gonna be. And it's gonna come down and around about like that. If yours is a little wider or fatter or skinnier, that's okay. This is your drawing and it's gonna end up looking like your drawing. So that's, just let it be that way. It's gonna be okay. Off the top of the face circle and then nose oval, we need a connecting triangle. Now this triangle is long and lean, uh, just like a greyhound. So let it be long and lean. Let it connect down to that nose. Um, they're very aerodynamic if you take a look at them. At the very end of this nose, let's draw a little circle right here for the actual nose. And inside that circle, we are gonna give um, a few arcs here to uh, help us know where the nostrils are gonna be. So we're gonna plant our wrists. I'm gonna go from up above. Hopefully I'm not cutting this off so you can see it. Give a little arc, kind of divide that circle right in half. And then off of that, a, a little arc kind of coming back, just like that. Now where we had the base of that circle right about here, maybe this more of the side, we're gonna give a little arc right like that as well. Now we need the bottom part of their jaw, which we're gonna get with a similar shape, but long and skinny this time. Another oval that's gonna live right about here. Let's go ahead and draw another oval right about here. If you can get your whole arm going from your shoulder, we'll go round and round to get your shape. Now I'm gonna do a little connecting triangle back to that circle for our jaw. Now we just need a nice long neck. So for the back of their heads, right where that connecting triangle connects to the oval, we're just gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down. To get that, I'm just touching my pencil down and I'm just dragging my hand down the paper, just like that. Now for their neck in front, pick a spot that's about right here. So um, just if you were to draw down from the eye, with your finger, go right down from the eye and over just a little bit. You're gonna draw a diagonal line right there for their neck. And believe it or not, with those few shapes, you've just drawn a really cool greyhound. So we are going to set down our pencils and switch over to our markers. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use any kind of marker you like. Um, or even a pen, just as long as you can't erase it, you'll be good to go, okay? Let's start at the top of our Greyhound's head. Right where it meets up with the ear, we're gonna go around the top part of this circle, onto this connecting triangle, onto the oval of that nose, and then when we get down here to these arcs, we're gonna cut in and in. So go ahead and trace over those. I'm gonna go over the circle Pick up my marker, connecting triangle, onto the oval. I'm gonna kind of stop when I get to that arc and then just bring my hand around, trace over that arc. When I get to the edge of that arc, I'm just gonna fatten that little line right there and go over that. Now we're gonna go a little around that circle, the circle part for the nose. Cut in just a little bit so you get the idea that that's where the nose lives. And then we're gonna add in that little arc right there. Now, this part be is gonna become our mouth. So we're gonna draw from here to right about here for the mouth. You're picking your favorite line that you drew, and I'm gonna go about that far and give it a little end to finish there. I like to do that when I'm drawing things that are um, not quite realistic. Uh, it gives it a little bit of character. All right, now for that bottom part, we're gonna go around the base of that oval onto that connecting triangle. Then we're gonna go around the jaw circle 
all the way up to the ear. You don't have to do that in one solid motion, but do try not to sketch, sketch, sketch. So I was able to go from here to here in one solid motion. If you'd rather go start at the top and go around, if you can see your lines better that way, by all means, do that. Very good. All right, now we're gonna go down the neck. So just touch your marker to your paper, pull it on down. Now let's figure out this ear. Their ears um, are also very aerodynamic. I never noticed this on a Greyhound before, but they're very floppy up here and um, they seem to stick up and then flop back. So what we have going on here, we're gonna go around the top part of this oval onto this connecting triangle and then around the edge of this circle onto that connecting triangle. That's the shape we're going for. It's all the outsides of all those intricate shapes we drew. So we're just picking our favorite lines and drawing over those. You've done all the heavy lifting, so now you're just kind of tracing over what you've drawn. Now this inside oval that we drew with this arc, that is gonna help give us the uh, shape. So this part would be like the outside of the ear and this part would be the inside of the ear. So we're gonna go around some of this oval onto that arc and then we're gonna let that arc go back onto that original oval that we drew. So it's almost like a sideways S. Those shapes help us arrive at that. So this would be the inside where they can hear, and this is the outside that's just kind of flopped over. To help us know that, we're gonna go along that first oval that we drew. We're gonna go from here, just about to the jaw, to trace over, just like that. Now let's get into the fun part, the eye. This is what's gonna give our guy all of his personality. So we are gonna start with the arcs this time. We're gonna do the top one first. Plant your, your marker, draw over that arc that you drew, just like that. When you get up to that edge, go ahead and add in that top one. Oh, I forgot one. We need another one right here, kinda of like an eyelid. Um, it's gonna mimic this. So if you'd like, you can do it with your marker just by planting your wrist and mimicking that arc that we just drew. If that makes you uncomfortable, switch over to your pencil. I'm gonna make a, just a little bit darker on that edge. Feels like your eyelid would have a crease there. All right, now we're gonna go around the bottom arc and stop. Can you hear my marker? It made a squeaky sound. All right, now we're gonna do the front part of that eye oval. So we're just gonna trace right over that. And then we're gonna go to the inside. We're gonna go all the way around that oval and let the top part of that arc be the top part of our oval. And then trace around your highlights so you don't accidentally color them in. I hate that. And then fill in your eye. This is the part that they can see from. Now we're gonna add a little bit of shading with this triangle that we created off of there. We're gonna trace over the top part of that triangle and just go over it a little bit and make it a little thicker at the base. The same thing with the bottom triangle. We're gonna follow along that line and just make it a little bit thicker and fill in some of that. I'm also gonna fill in a little bit more along this top arc. Go over that line one more time Kind of give it a shimmy back. Now, for this little line that we drew, it's just kind of a muscle I think that they have right there. I'm just gonna put a couple little dots along that line uh, to hint that it's pointing toward the nose. And um, we're gonna add one more shape on this little ear. We're gonna add a little bit of that circle right there. We've just drawn, oh, we need the back of the neck. Go ahead and trace over that line on the back of the neck. Okay, now, for real, we've just drawn a really cool greyhound. Um, set down your marker and grab your eraser. I'm gonna switch back to my guide because I drew this one in pencil and I'm gonna erase right along with you. I'm using a white eraser. You can use whatever kind of eraser you have on hand. Just make sure to steady your paper with your non-drawing hand and go back and forth and erase all of your guides. Um, I'm going to be left with a super slick greyhound. 
If you have some lines that are a little bit darker, take a second, go over those a few times. There's no need to rush. Um, if you want to color these in, I encourage you to look online. They have some beautiful fur, all kinds of um, colors, brindle um, or solid. Beautiful, beautiful animals. So take a second, Google it, and um, if you want to color them in, get some of their fur patterns. Um, I'm excited to see what you drew, so please send me those in the comments below. I love to see what you're drawing, so I can't emphasize that enough. It makes me happy. So, whoop, I'm talking. I didn't move my hand. Um, send me your drawings in the comments below. I will let them live on Facebook. I will also put them up on my website, and my website is Rebecca Inc. Rebecca Inc. I N K because I like to draw with ink. Dot com. You can find your drawings under the Interact tab. You can find me, Rebecca Inc., on Facebook, YouTube, Spoonflower, if you're doing some fabric um, fabric masks, and you can find me on Instagram at Rebecca Inkabink. Thank you for drawing with me today. Send me your drawings. Let me know what you want to draw, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.